Welcome back to FNTV at MWC 25. I'm Steve Saunders, and I'm delighted to welcome Mariam Sorond, CEO of NextNav, to the studio here opposite the FIRA. It's great to see you, Mariam. Delighted to be here. Thank you, Steve. You have a very interesting proposition based around geolocation. What is it? It's basically signals from satellites that we all use. Four billion users use GPS. There's also other GNSS systems to navigate our way. Water supplies, emergency services, widely used. So um, what are you bringing to the GPS table, as it were? What, what makes NextNav's uh, offering different? Well, you know, we, first of all, it's a great service that's used worldwide, but it needs a couple things. One of them, it needs a backup and resilient network because it's single sourced. Mm. So if there's an outage or if there's any vulnerability, uh, that is a disaster for any nation. Yeah. Uh, not only from a national security perspective, but economic value of a couple billion dollars a day for the United States. And I'm if, sure if, if GPS failed, if GPS failed, right, it's on our water supply, power grids, banking, financial systems. So that's one. The second one is that uh, it is a GPS has some limitations. It uh, doesn't work well indoors. Again, very inherent mm -hmm. to satellites. Um, and uh, and basically, it's really important to have indoor positioning as well. So it's a complement as well to what uh, GNSS systems over. So you're describing a, a redundant network. GPS isn't redundant today? It is not. I did not know that. Oh, that no. that's, isn't that's that amazing? A, that's, a, that's a fairly interesting and, and slightly worrying thought. I wonder if you can give me an example of how having a NextNav service uh, underlying or backing up GPS would be useful for existing services, maybe public sector or something like that. So basically our solution is riding on 5G. Mm. And 5G is a terrestrial network. Terrestrial signals are strong. They're very resilient to jamming, spoofing things that we see daily occurrences of with respect to GPS and other positioning satellites worldwide. Uh, we, have, uh, we have basically implemented a very large scale solution, right? It rides on the coattails of a 5G network, so it will be global. And it's very innovative. Mm. It, sounds, it sounds amazing. Um, does it exist yet or do you have to see regulatory changes in order for you to bring your service online? That's our first step, right? I mean, the regulators uh, care worldwide, not about airwaves and spectrum, but also, of course, national security. So our proposal in the United States is being considered by the FCC uh, to basically allow our spectrum to be used by 5G operators. And, uh, and once it is, then we can actually partner with the 5G operator to build the network. And then we use the PRS signal, which is a positioning reference yeah. signal of 5G to deliver positioning and timing. Is there any reason why they wouldn't let you do that? I can't see of one. <laughs> I can't see of one reason. We have a great regulator. We have a new administration in the United States. Yeah. They care about national security. Yeah. We have our leader uh, Chairman Brandon Carr Brandon of the Carr. FCC here yeah. at the show talking today. Um, and I think these are important issues for them. What advantages uh, or advancements or innovations can, can we expect uh, from NextNav, in particular regarding this concept of vertical positioning systems? Uh, perhaps you could explain what they are first. Yeah, absolutely. So so what GPS or other GNSS systems are really good at horizontal positioning. So which floor of the building you're at, that's a little bit more complicated. It's indoor and so it needs indoor mm -hmm. sort of solutions for it. And it opens up a door of actually applications. First of all, um, all positioning is data, data driven, right? So we can use the power of AI. We could actually unleash a lot of use cases that are not only future looking, think factory floors who need precise indoor, think buildings who need precise indoor, or think mm. national security issues of emergency responders trying to respond life and death situations to a 911 call, mm. right? All of this, or just think simple things. I was hanging out in a Plaza Catalunya yesterday, beautiful, beautiful. I was trying to find a walking path, and it was, it was hard, right? It, it threw me off. So imagine solving some of our everyday problems and also the future of what it could potentially do with 3D positioning and using AI. Fantastic. Really exciting, interesting, innovative. It's great to see you here at it's MWC25. 
Thank you, Steve. It's wonderful. Thank you for the opportunity.